Taking a little break from the weather coverage to take you to the Washington International Horse Show. It's not happening in D.C. this year. Instead, it was moved to Mill Spring, North Carolina. That's near the South Carolina border. People from our area are competing still, though, so we had to check out all the fun. That's right. We had to send our sports anchor, Charlotte McBride, to North Carolina at the Tryon International Equestrian Center. Good morning, Sharla. Good morning, guys. I'm so excited to be joining you this morning. Well, guys, as we have seen this week, it takes a lot of hard work, talent, and dedication to even be competing here at the Washington International Horse Show. But for a lot of these competitors, there's a lot more than meets the eye. Meet Allison Gurney. The grace and skill that come with horse jumping, it's an art form. But the arena isn't DC native Allison Gurney's only medium. I always wanted to do something that tied in animals and design. Uh, probably my three favorite things are design, dogs, and horses. Gurney is the artist and creator of these little felted friends. With just wool, a needle, and an afternoon, Gurney creates fuzzy replicas of people's pets. They just have different character personalities that I always try to replicate. Each one takes four hours of pokes and prods to get it perfect. It's a really simple art and it's something that I had actually never heard of before. I just discovered it randomly one day scrolling through social media and I thought, wow, that's an art I had never tried before. Little Felted Friends is booked up months out, but as with Gurney's equestrian success, it all started with a love of animals. We've We've Gurney's first muse was her dog, Drift. Get away. When she posted some photos of her first creations online, they blew up. Since I started, like shortly after, it just went insane. I found that a lot of other people were really enamored by it too, and you know, everybody wanted one. Gurney studies photos of each pet's physical traits and even learns about their personality. But she says the most special part of bringing a loved one to life is saying goodbye. A lot of people say, oh, is it hard for you to give up the little felted friends? And I say, no, it's my favorite part when they make it to their house and I can see the pictures of their dog with the little felted friend. It's just a huge part of the experience that I appreciate most and I know they do too. Well, as you guys heard, Little Felted Friends is all booked up, but Gurney is staying very busy. In fact, here yesterday, she won her class, the Adult Amateur Jumper Championship taking home the top prize. I, I know that I should ask a horse related question right now, but I have <laughs> to know. So Charlie, you said there's no way she's not accepting new customers. Is that what she said? Hint, hint. I need this in my yeah, life. She, I, she is all booked up. And as you guys heard, it takes her about four hours to create just one. And yeah, she has a long waiting list, several months long. Wow. wow. As she should. And her. congratulations on her win yesterday. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's it. And the especially details. like as a memory, once a pet has oh, passed yeah. on. Wow, really great. So talented. All right, Charlotte McBride, thank you so much. Six